What's going on, everybody? Obstacles are opportunity on everyone hates Tesla. Keeping up with the Tesla bye. Just like keeping up with the Kardashians. Let's hop into the video today. We're going to be looking at a video from Tesla Space. Let's get active. Let's get started. Let's get this party rolling. To Serena Williams and Lady Gaga among countless... Whoa. On today's episode, the Tesla bot finds an unlikely new home, Donald Trump will make autonomy great again, Tesla's camera vision gets clearer, and superchargers get a much-needed power-up. Tesla has always been a popular brand among celebrities, influencers, and YouTubers. We saw that really accelerate with the release of the Cybertruck, which was quickly adopted by everyone from Shaq to Justin Bieber to Serena Williams and Lady Gaga, among countless other A-listers. Might I remind you that this is a bunch of marketing. This marketing's not paid for by Tesla. Remember, Tesla has yet to spend a lot of money on marketing. Previously, it was no money, but during a shareholders meeting, shareholders begged Elon Musk to actually start doing some marketing. But prior to that, we didn't have a marketing budget or a marketing team. And most corporations spend massive amounts of money on marketing. And so people wanted more information and Tesla decided to do more marketing, but marketing based on information to get customers kind of aware and a better understanding about EVs versus massive amounts of propaganda and misinformation. But anyways, all these celebrities are showing off the trucks and the cars free publicity. Grading Tesla even deeper into the lifestyles of the rich and famous. And now Optimus, the Tesla bot, has already taken that one step further with none other than Kim Kardashian becoming the first customer to take delivery of a Tesla bot. Kim got the show started in this video with her and Optimus. You can see the bot doing some new moves like the heart sign and even what appears to be the Trump dance. Although we saw impressive progress on Optimus in the recent video update, it seems likely this bot in Kim's video is teleoperated, much like the demonstrations we saw at the Wii Robot event, where the bots were playing rock, paper, scissors with the guests and more. The Tesla team had some fun with their ex-accounts, commenting, looks like the robot's not coming back, and the official Tesla underscore Optimus account replying, sorry, you had to find out this way. Elon just keeps the comments short with, cool. And it looks like Kim got to play with more than just one robot, as she also shared a video of Optimus inside a cyber cab, saying her ride is here. I don't know if you noticed, but this Optimus seems to be painted gold, just like the Cybercab. According to the Instagram post, only one such golden Optimus exists in the world. She also gives the Tesla crew some shoutouts, saying, I have to give respect and credit to one of the best car designers ever, Franz von Holzhausen, this car is crazy. To which Franz replies, thanks Kim K, amazing team, more to come. What? Now, here we go. We have a first customer. Now, we don't know if it's autonomous or teleoperated or not. People just always speculate, especially when it came down to the actual Wii Robot event. People just didn't know what was teleoperated and what was not teleoperated. Which one was autonomous? Which one was teleoperated? Most people just don't know. Um, of course, Tesla dropped some things, but it, there was nothing like explicitly saying, saying what was and what wasn't there. But I know at least when the robots were dancing, that was autonomous, but other than that, I'm not quite sure. A lot of people just went back and forth. Now, we are not sure if we'll see an actual larger photo op with Kim coming online soon from this or some other kind of project, but this seems like a sure way for Tesla to reach a wide audience, just about 500 million followers across her socials. This probably marks Tesla's biggest marketing play ever in company history. They typically just rely on the fact that rich and famous people will buy their products and flex them on their own. Obviously, Kim Kardashian didn't buy a Tesla bot and Cybercab because they're not for sale yet, so this was all set up intentionally. Kim's in well, again, he doesn't know if she bought it or not. Instagram videos for a product feature reportedly go for about $2 million each. And then, of course, Elon Musk is very explicit and is straightforward with those things. He says, like, bro, even I have to pay for products and services at Tesla. So did he give it to her for free? Eh, I don't think so. Possibly she had to pay the price and it would be good for her. And she probably wanted to. It's not like she doesn't have money. Uh, certain particular things, yes, he said it cost $2 million, but Kanye West Yeezy brand was all over the entire family's social platforms. That's how Yeezy became the most Googled fashion brand in the entire world. But that was just because Kim Kardashian did it for Kanye and Kanye did things for her. But Nanette, this is mutually beneficial for her also. Maybe she wanted it. She has money to spend. What's about 60 k or 100 k to where it's basically a drop in the bucket to have a unique post that only she could get. And so it's a two-way street win-win. So it seems Tesla has gotten a solid 10 million worth of an advertising campaign right there for free. Or at least we are assuming that Tesla didn't pay for this. That would be very out of character. Now, you might be thinking that Kim K is a weird choice to be the new Tesla brand ambassador, and I thought the same thing too at first. But 
if Tesla wants to reach a new audience of middle-aged women who are consumerism-focused, for lack of a better term, then you probably can't get much better than Kim Kardashian's audience. It's likely that... Yeah, see, of course. It, 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 it's a great person to target. Who the heck are we going to get? Hulk Hogan fans? Like, come on, guys. Kid Rock fans? The Republican Party? Like, no. We're definitely going to go with somebody around the Kim Kardashian, at least brand. That would be 10 times better, especially when you're talking about if it's women and the Optimus robot can help around the house. Duh. Most of her followers have never really seen a Tesla bot or a Cybertab before. I can tell you for sure that not many women watch our videos either. And this overcomes a major hurdle towards Tesla bot adoption by consumers. Now, the husbands of the world don't even need to explain to their wives what Optimus is or why they should buy one of their own. Just say, it's the same robot that Kim Kardashian has, and you're good to go. Alternative theory, Elon has a new crush, and instead of trying to woo her by sending her flowers, he sent robots. And guess what? You can own a Tesla bot too. Well, a mini version for now. The Tesla bot action figure just hit the Tesla merch shop for $40. Yeah, you could go check that out at the merch. Also, too, I did see a couple of podcasts, and, you know, people were talking about it like, what about this new robot? And it was funny. A lot of the podcast guys were like, I don't want that. I don't want that. And the women that were on the podcast were like, oh, I would love to have one. It's very interesting. And they were like the cab and the freaking robot. They were like, heck yeah, you mean I could jump in? And most people really don't understand the actual trials and tribulations of a woman. Like women have to order Ubers or even over here, they have lady bolts. Like hopefully the woman could be a driver and they don't really have to deal with as much problems possibly when males are the drivers. Like they're always trying to talk to them, ask their numbers, like just be an awkward, socially awkward. Like this is a real thing and a real experience that women have. Like when I'm around them, just chilling in the background, I experience it. I'm like, man, this drink is out of order. Like, <laughs> like God dang dudes, just you know, fall back, leave people alone sometimes. But net net, women are like, heck yeah, you're talking about I could get in the car, there's no weirdo in the car. They're going to take that nine out of 10 times, bro. I'm telling you for sure, for sure. So women love the ideas of the cab and also for the robots. And I don't blame them after witnessing the weirdos that mess with them all the time. It did, of course, crash the whole site at launch and is now sold out. But maybe you'll get lucky when they replenish the stock. Until then, I've got the scoop on a brand new product that is coming soon and you're going to love it. We are excited to share a first look at our new Tesla space merch. Dang. That bot is sold out? Like, that's super tough. All right, here we go. So Trump loves FSD. Let's see what they're talking about real quick, because I really just wanted to talk about the actual Optimus robot. You know what? Bump that. Everybody keeps talking about Trump and all this other nonsense, and I don't care for it. Optimus robot is definitely something that I look for the future. I think it was a great move on Tesla's behalf, and then the Kim Kardashian and freaking Tesla probably had a win-win situation. Possibly she paid for it. I don't know. It's no reason to speculate. At the end of the day, a lot of females love the idea of having the robot and the cyber cab. They're like, bro, this is the best thing since sliced bread. So as far as I'm concerned, it's going to be profitable. It's definitely something that I even think about. Most people don't sit back and think about like, huh, are women going to like this? And then now they're thinking like husbands will have to explain it to their wives. Their wives are going to be like, heck no, they're going to be explaining it to their husbands. And then of course their husbands are going to be like, what about our privacy? I don't trust it. The new world order. And then the woman's going to be like ordered, be quiet. Cause they're the new war world order in a lot of you guys' households. So at the end of the day, shout outs to the woman who's going to be ordering the Optimus robot and getting into cyber cabs. Guys, until the next episode, like, share, subscribe, see you in the next one. And of course, hit that notification bell so you can get this hot electricity. Cause you already know it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Let's go. Keeping up with the Tesla robot. That's a new TV show. It's going to be on the Kardashians. Yo, that would be wild if it was actually on a reality TV show. The Optimus appear, like, yo, that's gonna be dope. Maybe it will, who knows?